We're back in the world of Chell and Carl and Babe joining you here. I love watching games of threes. It's especially exciting to see how money pucks can change how a game is played. Watch out for those modifiers because they can sway the score drastically. On the clock, it's ticking, baby. You can say what you want while I'm listening, baby. Yeah, we've been down for a long time. So, why you trying to press rewind? No, talk sweet, but you can save it. Yeah, I know your little miss bet best behavior. Uh, I ain't running back this time. So, why you trying to press rewind? Listen to this. I'm the litmus, baby. They be imitating. G O A T like Brady. Game's amazing. Nasty nice ladies. Yeah, I know you want it. You so stuck up on it. Please proceed with caution, get in line, cause everybody wants me. Everybody wants me. And you know it too, don't you? <laughs> when I'm rocking all eyes on me. Yeah, everybody wants me. Yeah, I bet you met, cause everybody, girl, you've been talking so loud. Better take my name out your mouth, like AIM, I'm locked out. Now stop. And run it back. I'm the litmus, baby. Yeah. They be imitating. G O A T like Brady. Oh. Game's amazing. Nice to ladies. Yeah, I know you want it. You so stuck up on it. Please proceed with caution. Get in line, cause everybody wants me. Everybody wants me. When I'm walking all eyes on me. Yeah, everybody wants me. Yeah, I bet you met cause everybody wants me. Yeah, yeah, you know that. 
too, girl. Your friends, your mother, your sister. I'm pretty sure your man's watching me too, so you might want to check that. Welcome back, everyone. Just a reminder, you can customize your whole arena from the stanchions to the railings on the staircases. Club owners can really make the environment of their home ice pop by representing their team color all over the arena. That's how you really get the most out of your home ice advantage. Oh, you can smell the anticipation in the air for this one. Hi, everybody, along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski for EA Sports. You ready for a game tonight? Lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. Puck is dropped. Let's do this hockey. Slides the puck ahead to Muhammad. Calgary's got possession of the puck. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Picks up the puck in his own end. Couldn't complete the pass. Beautiful 360 with the puck. Can't connect! Oh, great play to use the wall handling the pass. Great reach with the poke check. Can't get it to go. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The victorious grab possession to the puck. In all alone on the breakaway! Savage is on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The hitmen have taken control of the puck. Oh, huge open ice hit. He's such a high effort player. I mean, he's banged up here, James, but he's still trying to finish this <laughs> shit. Oh, she dropped him on the play. Wow, did she run right over top of him. And he makes the save. Tangles him up with the stick, and the officials are all over it. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. The hitmen have been handed two minutes for hooking. The victorious get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Oh, I love playing on the power play. It's my favorite thing I did. So here you are in a scoreless game. These guys can't get on the ice fast enough for their first opportunity. Denies them on the play. Takes the feed from his netminder. And it's a quick pass to Kennedy. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a shot! And it comes up with the save! Slides.
slides the puck over. Puck cleared from the defensive end. And that pass is redirected. Play whistle dead offside the call. Power play set to roll on as the centers get ready for the faceoff. Victoria's won it. Puck grabbed by Huber. And they send it right back to him. Quick shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Usually he gets into close quarters, James. It's money. Not this time. The goalie beats him with the stop. Scores! The captain delivers! The one-timer grabs your eye for the goal here, but he's got to get into position to get open to unleash this cannon. Guys, his one key superstar ability is just another way that he can score. His teammates were able to set him up there, and he slammed that one-timer home. Handles the pass at center. Calgary's looking to break out of their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. On the attack along the boards, and he's going after him here. Huber's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Nice pad save. Handles the puck. Woo -woo! There's oh, another for the hit parade. And that's broken up. The victorious gain possession along the wall. Oh, absolutely rocks them. And that's stolen and they'll go on the attack. The victorious have stolen a bunch of pucks tonight. And I'm telling you, James, in a close game, this easily could be the difference. Victoria's gained possession along the boards. Quick feed down low. Calgary's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here's a shot. Denied with the blocker. Into the butterfly. Slides across to make the save. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Well, the water gets hot pretty quickly here. The penalty killers have to do the job to protect this one goal lead. A chance to capitalize here on the power play. The power play gets an unbelievable opportunity to tie this game up. Trailing by one, this is a big chance in this game. The Victorious will kill off a few extra seconds now. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. The Victorious have it against the wall. up in the air how angry the goalie gets like he slaps the bottle away not the bottle's fault like stop the puck man just the insult to injury with the bottle pop he's tight to the net he doesn't have much time and that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot the victorious have been clicking on all cylinders tonight here in this first period the two goal lead is the way it should be i like the way that they've pursued this game so far Sends it on. right up front Tremendous athletic reflexes there with the toe stop. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Moves it around along the half wall. Kennedy's ready to join the play. And he denied that opportunity. Calgary's power play is over. What a disaster as they give up a shorthanded goal. Well, now they got a bigger hole to dig out of. They give up the shorthanded goal. A sloppy power play, and they pay for it. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Calgary's got the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. And a nice takeaway the defensive time. end by Kennedy. Hits it on, man rush. Two on one. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Takes the feed. Slides the puck down low. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that one's broken up. And with
with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. teams with a chance to recharge and refresh and this second period about set to get underway and now it's grabbed by Cooley and here at center that's intercepted and things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play Calgary's got it in their own zone here's a shot just slide to the net we got a stoppage as the puck sails over the glass Lots of time left in this period. The victorious lead this one to zip. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Oh, oh, awesome like a hurricane. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Muhammad's pick on the play has resulted in an interference penalty. Calgary's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, the power play gets a few words from the coaches as they jump onto the ice. Little reminder about the shorthanded goal they gave up earlier on. Picked off. Driving right to the front. And there it is in the back of the net. They tell it on the power play. They were telling us before the game, the coaches, that they feel like their power play is going to start rolling a little bit. Well, they got one here. You make a mistake that big, there's only one place you're going to find the puck. Yeah, that's in your net. That's where the puck is. When he's able to get near the front of the net like that, don't be surprised if he skates away with the goal like we just saw there, guys. His close quarter superstar ability makes him so good at point blank range. Throws it in. The victorious have it behind the cage. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And they get the puck out. A chance on goal. Denied by the goaltender. Goalies love the butterfly. They know they've got a lot of the net covered, so he slides across. Doesn't worry about this shot. Sends the pass over to his teammate. Frederick's going to elect for the face-off and maybe just a chance to play with the puck a little. Well, you get to feel it for sure, but he hasn't had much to do at all. His team's been in control as they lead this game. Still lots of time left in the period. Calgary's trailing by one. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Puts him hard into the wall. Scoops up the puck here. Passes up to Kennedy. Delayed penalty looming. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. There's the whistle and here's the call. Maybe just a touch over aggressive here as they try to get the equalizer, but now they got to kill a penalty. The victorious send their man advantage unit out once more. Power plays are going to go up and down. You're going to be successful some nights and others not so much. This is a great opportunity for them right now. And they score! We've seen this act before, Razor. You get in that close, and he's got the puck. Good night. He doesn't miss from there. You ask anybody around the league and they'll tell you he's one of the most accurate shooters from this position on the ice. He gets in tight, he delivers the puck quickly and puts it right at the spot he wants. Face off looming as both centers get into position. Taken by Huber. Moves the puck along the half wall. Big time stop there. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. And that's off a stick. 
The Hitmen have taken control of the puck. Here we go. It's a two on one. Woo -woo! All Lays the body. Victoria's moving it up the ice. Move to the middle. And that's picked off in front. Woo -woo! Lose All it by the hit. Moves it quickly over to Muhammad. Victoria's moving it along the wing. And puts the body woo, into woo, a little bumper oh, car hockey. And serves up a little knock on the play. Calvary's on the attack. Boom! Man, sometimes you just can't get out of the way, but for him, it's been all night. He's been on the receiving end of these types of hits. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Victorious have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Calgary's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Couldn't complete Whoa. the play. Victorious got the puck along the wall. Huge hit on the play. His reflexes on display tonight. Scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. This play doesn't happen without the accurate passing that has to go into the play before it ends up in the net. What a great play, known for this, and that's the ability to find the open player and then put the puck right on the tape. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. And the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to regroup at center. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Victoria's got it in their own zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Slides it back to the blue line. He raises the ball. Oh, Shut down the by the train. blocker. Trying to engage a little physicality here. And that's blocked. There's a hit on the play. Slides it diagonally to Kennedy. They go on the attack through center. Calgary's got a hold of the puck. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Penalty killers are going to get to work here. No matter what happens, James, the coaches are going to have to reset the guys at the break. Calgary's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Great opportunity to get this game back to level a power play, trailing by one. This is a huge opportunity. Feeds the puck up to Kennedy, and they continue to apply pressure here. Victoria's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Calgary's got a hold of the puck now. Oh, and that misses the net. He's so good, James, at getting the puck to the net. Other teams actually use video of him to show their players on how to get the puck to the net. They're trailing in this game. He needs to get this on the net, however. It doesn't go. And just a good old-fashioned solid body check on the play. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. Here's a chance right in the slot. Nice save from point-blank range. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this face-off. Panarin's time is almost done. And there's the horn. Two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath.
Welcome back, everyone. You know, for all you ODR fans, we have a bunch of outdoor rinks here for you to play on within the world of Chell. Take to the ice in ones or pro-am and experience world-class outdoor environments against some great competition.
I found a silver ring and put it on my finger. I picked up my guitar and played it for the reaper. God was a girl, the devil wore a t shirt. Love is a game, and they were kissing in the bleachers. I don't want to be without you, but I'm here. Screaming by myself I'm on the run night for hockey. Let's get ready to go. Gene Sabowski and Ray Ferraro ready to bring you all the action. Opening face-off is set to go. Referee Gilles Levesque is ready to drop the puck. The victorious start with possession as we are now underway. Dumps it in. Strong defensive effort. Puck scooped up by Panarin. He's him up. Scores! The captain comes through! I know he wanted that pass, James, because I could hear him from here. He wanted it on the tee, he got it, and then he powders it by the goalie. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Ball just takes it inside his own end. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Gets it over to Kuzda. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Kennedy. Down low. Feeds it down low. Off his stick. Blocked in traffic. Puck picked up by Kane. Carries it across the line. The victorious look to start the transition game. Feeds it on over to Kennedy. Read perfectly with the stick at center by Pusta. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Manages to hang on. Feed to Pyfield. 
Shot gets tipped. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Takes the feed. Moves it to Huber. And he's able to handle that one. Moves the puck to Matthews. From the left side, takes it at center. The Victorious take possession in the defensive end. The Blazers work it through center. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Kennedy. Kamloops moves it quickly along the wing. Takes a shot off a stick. And not much on that one. Kamloops scores! They've been clawing away at the street, James, trying to get this game back even. And there's the goal that does it. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Nearing the midway mark of the period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Kane. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Baldness has it now behind his own net. Trying to clear... And they get the job done. Way up front! And they can't convert to the play! Slides the pass over to Gustav. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. And now it's grabbed by Byfield. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Gustav. Nice pass. Victoria's got the puck in their own end. Quick pass to Balness. Can't connect on the pass. The victorious will play it from the defensive zone. And that's poked away by Gusta. And not much on that one. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Steps in front of it for the block. He was locked in there. Victoria's got the puck. The Victorious played along the boards. You'll need more than that to beat him. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. In the final moments of this period, we are all tied up in this one. Panarin's won the faceoff. He scores! What a shot! The water bottle pops off the top of the net. That's a score stream. Just look at this faceoff play here on the replay, James. They're set hoping they can win the draw, and when they do, the wheels are in motion that leads to this goal. Centers are set, face-off ready to resume play. Takes the pass. Slides the puck down low. Kennedy's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kane. Thunder his head. Well, that's inevitable. He had his head down. Got hit so hard, he dropped his stick. Now he's got to go pick it up before he can join the play again. That's why coaches say keep your head up, right? Well, that's one of the reasons. Oh, and that's got the crowd busting after that stop. It's almost like he's slaloming through the defenders. He can make a move. He's known to create his own room and get to the front of the net. Good save by the goaltender here, though. Victoria's got possession here in their own end. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Gets the puck in deep. Picked up along the wall by Huber. Here's a short pass to Kennedy. Quick stop! Point blank stop by Merzlikens. Concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around.
And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Kamloops has to look at the way this game's been played so far and realize they've got way more to give. They're not going to get back in this game playing like this. Hammers one from the point. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. And that's picked off. And now it's over to Kennedy. Victoria's got it against the boards. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. And he makes the easy save. He plays the game at his own pace. Everybody else is going around a million miles an hour. He scores! And that's two in a row! You get one, you stay hungry, you want to stay on your toes at Walt Disney. Defending teams back on their heels, they throw another one on the board. This is a really good place to get lost on the ice. The defensemen are down low defending. The forwards are worried about the point. If you can find this high slot play, you often are going to get a one-timer. The Victorious have now gone ahead by a pair here in this second. Stretching out the lead here in the middle frame gives you a little bit more flexibility on the bench. The coach can use his whole lineup. Victorious gained possession along the boards and reads the play perfectly and picks up the pass. Makes the save. Grabs the puck. Victoria's got it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Panarin. Oh, it goes right up the post. Panarin's got to be thinking, what do I have to do to get a break? He's created chances. He's been in the right spot, but all he can do is hit the post. That pass doesn't go. Kamloops has possession of it now. And he makes a save on that play. Frederick scores. They score! My goodness, what a shot of the one-timer. That's some slick passing right there. A vision, a creativity that not all players have. This pass is perfect. Kamloops has a nice injection of life here in this second period with that goal. Completely changes the complexion of the game. Down by a couple, it seems a long way away. Now down by one, it seems possible. More than half the period left to play. Kamloops has really picked up the tempo over the last few minutes, but they still need another goal to tie. Goose has won the draw here in the offensive zone. You know the other club is a little tired after the icing. That's an important offensive zone win. And that's knocked aside with the stick by Matthews. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. Here's a shot. They score! Wow! Love the move here, James. Patient, dragging the defender in tight where they think they've got a chance to stop the play. But they don't. Great hands, great move, and it's in the net. Seen him do this so many times. He makes the defender bite on that move, dangles around them, and then puts it away in the back of the net. Guys, we all know he's good at stick handling, and that was a great example of it. That puck on a string zone ability buys him some space and allows him to get one on the board. You just love to see it. And no luck on that pass attempt. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Kamloops gets the puck near the boards. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Turned aside with the glove. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. More than half the frame has been played here. We got a tie game. Kamloops takes possession off the draw. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Dumps it into the Ozone. Grabbed along the board by Kane. And the puck departs the zone. The victorious all puts it off the iron. Had the side of the net, but doesn't go. The victorious are still level, and they've had virtually no luck. That sounds like a clanging iron down there. Kennedy's moving the puck through his own zone. Feeds it to Kusta. And they won't connect on that one. Sends the pass down low. 
Kamloops has it near the wall. Poked away in the offensive end. Kamloops tries to break out from their own end. Quick pass to Matthews. And that doesn't exactly go take to take. That's moved up ahead. Saucers it take to take. And that's a great heads up play by Byfield. Can't connect. Scooped up along the wall by Kane. Quick pass over to Kusta. Comes up with the stop. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Late goings of this period. It's all tied up. Victoria's got it in the defensive zone. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Next. Sensational stop by Merzlikens. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Way too much congestion blocks that. Icing is the call. We'll get a reset. Byfield's effective at stick checking and playing solid D in his own end, guys. His stick them up zone ability means he can use his twig to disrupt attackers. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. This will help them get out of the zone and rest their players. Hammers a shot. Too many bodies in the way. There's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. Well, let's see what this third period can offer at what has been a score fest thus far. The Blazers in transition at center. Quick feed to Kusta. The Victorious have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And now he angles it across to Kennedy. The Victorious will play it from the corner. Takes a shot. Oh! And comes up with nothing on the play. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Puck grabbed by Matthews. Kamloops is across the blue line. Fires it into the offensive zone. Receives the pass. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Taken by Kennedy. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Kamloops gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Matthews will play it from the side. Hammers it on net. Great read as he crouches down to block it. Kamloops takes possession along the wall. Two on one. And that's the hat trick. Listen to this place. And here come the hats. I love this tradition. Oh boy, I will tell you. They collect the hats up. They used to give them to us. And you're like, what am I going to do? I'm not wearing somebody else's hat. <laughs> The Blazers are up by one. You don't like the term protect a lead, though. Oh, I, I hate it, James, because that means you're just inviting the other offense into your zone. Play it up the ice. It's way easier to defend 150 feet from your net. And makes the save. Frederick's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, Kamloops is trying to build on that one goal lead. Oh, what a block! He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off, if he can get off. Kamloops gains control of the puck. 
Now he slides it up to Matthews. Great pressure to force the turnover. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Kennedy. And that's picked off by Huber. Broken up by Byfield. The Blazers have it behind the net. Works it across to Matthews. They've got numbers here. Oh, what a blocker stop on that. The Victorious get a hold of the puck along the boards. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Cam Luke starts to attack. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Poked away by Byfield. Loose puck battle along the boards. Moves it to Kane. Poked away at center by Huber. Just fine. He does it up. Put that stick away, man, is it hot. What an outstanding game. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Kamloops has now taken a two-goal lead here in the third, which what some people call the worst lead in hockey. Yeah, I guess it is, but how can it not be I better than a, Yeah, but how can it not be better than a one-goal lead? I'm with you on that one. You know math. Fair. Sends it down low. Kamloops slides the puck against the wall. Scores! Oh! Finish on his part. Great hands, and you know that the player is confident when they can pull this move off in so tight. What a great play. And he finishes it by beating the goaltender. He was able to bury one here, due in part to him using his zone ability, guys. It's been working for him as we already saw him generate some offense earlier in this game. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Great poke check on the reach. Here's a blast! Off target! Quick pass to Panarin. Can't get it to go. Puck scooped up by Kennedy. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And that pass can't connect. Here's the one-timer, and he rings the post. The Victorious are working at least. They're trying to close this big deficit, but this shot hits the post and stays out. Picked up along the boards by Gustav. Kane swooping in on the attack. The Victorious scooping up along the boards. Couldn't find the intended target. Knocked away with the stick by Huber. Picks it off. Look out. Look at the Savardian spinorama. And that one's turned away. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Oh, he used to call your parents? Wow, did he ever finish him hard. And when he dropped, he also dropped his stick. Now he's got to collect himself. Looks like a yard sale out there. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. He looks deep to Kusta. Jabs the puck away. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Kusta. Great reach with the poke check by Kennedy. Taken along the wall by Matthews. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Puck picked up by Gusta. Feeds it over to Kennedy. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Picked up along the wall by Byfield. And that's poked away. Moves the puck. And that goes off the side of the frame. That's all she wrote from this one. The Victorious statistically may have been the better team, but where it mattered most, they weren't. Now 
Now, they did a good job tonight. I thought they played pretty well, but just not enough to overcome the deficit.
The action never ends here in the world of Chell, especially in threes. The fast pace and the explosive plays will keep you on your toes. Why not head over and give it a try?
just a reminder that if you're struggling with scoring, that's okay. Whether you're strong in the corners or you prefer setting up teammates or throw big hits to pressure your opponents, that means you just have other skills to bring to the ice. Play to your strengths and find a club that complements your own play style. The skates are sharpened, the sticks are taped, the ice is ready to go. James and Ray ready to bring it all. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. The Blazers start with possession as we are now underway. Slides it across to Matthews. Wow! Scores! Now, when I was playing at home, I loved if we could get on the board first. It really makes you feel like you can throw four or five into the net. What a shot this is. The goalie thinks he's got the entire net covered. I guess not. This is just inside the post. Kamloops fans were rocking before puck drop. Now they've even cranked it up to 11. Well, what a great start for him. Great movie reference there, by the way, James. Thank you. You can't start better than that. And that's picked off. Great use of the stick here at center ice. And that's picked off in the defensive end. Puck picked up in the open ice. Victoria's got it along the wall. From the blue line. Blocked in traffic. Kamloops looks to get things going now with the puck. And they'll go the other way with it. Great play by Panarin. He grabs the puck here at the point. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Merzlikens. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Stoppage and play offside the call. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Victoria's won it. Panarin's carrying it ahead. Here's a pass down low. Victoria's got the puck against the wall. We've got icing on the play. Face-off coming up. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Kamloops has the 1-0 lead. 
and sneaks in and grabs possession. Kamloops plays it along the wing. Oh, he'll feel that one. Victoria's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves the puck across to Kennedy. Grabbed along the board by Huber. Couldn't complete the pass. Byfield's taking it from his own end. Kamloops plays it along the wall. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Kamloops gains control of the puck. Oh, Needs well, to call your parents. Bonus is looking for somebody to engage in a fight with. He can't find the right guy. Oh, and he just gets a piece of it. Great extension on the play. Hey, sometimes the goalie just beats you. I mean, that's a quick release. He's known for that. But the goalie's on top of it and makes the stop. Scores, and they get it back. Now back to level square. You want them to be as aggressive as possible. You've got the other team reeling a little bit. He's got such quick hands, James. That puck's on and off his stick in a hurry. And you have to deliver it fast if you're that close to the net. When he's able to get near the front of the net like that, don't be surprised if he skates away with the goal like we just saw there, guys. His close quarter superstar ability makes him so good at point blank range. Stop with ease. Kamloops plays it up ahead. And now it's grabbed by Byfield. Here's a short pass. Look out. And that's poked away by Panarin. Bonus is trying to drop the mitts here. He just can't get anyone to fight him. Can't connect on the pass. Odd man rush. Skates to the crease. The Victorious have it from their own end. And now he tries to get it across to Huber. Moves it quickly over to Kennedy. Can't find his man. Bank pass off the boards. Passes it over to Matthews. Quick feed to Kane. Unloads it! That's off a stick. That's a big yeah. time hit along the wall. It is, James. I love the way he used the angle. He took away all the ice. And now he moves it to Panarin. Stick handling in his own zone. Sends a pass over. Scooped up along the wall by Kennedy. Moves the puck down low. And he puts that one aside with ease. And that's solid in the offensive zone. Here's a chance. They score! Ray, I don't know how many times we've traveled around. You always talk about it's better to play in front. Well, you break the deadlock here, James. Now you get out in front. You can dictate the pace of the game. You never want to be the star of a movie when the movie is that. That turnover is awful. And it ends up in the back of the net, up top of the net, over the goalie. Moves it to Matthews. Panarin's got the puck in his own zone. And the extended stick is that one. Slides it on over to Kusta. That pass doesn't go. Great heads up play with the stick by Huber. Quick shot. Turns him away.
Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are on the way. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Kamloops prides themselves in being a possession team. Well, they haven't had it very much tonight. They trail on the scoreboard, and they're going to have to be much better. And there we go. Icing is the call. Lots of time left in this period. The victorious lead at 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Huber. Puck grabbed by Kennedy. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Takes it into the slot. Taken by Byfield. Pass to Kane. Great read with the stick. Ball just takes the puck. And that's taken away. The victorious get a hold of the puck in their own end. Picked up along the boards by Kennedy. Puck scooped up by Panarin. The Blazers gain possession along the wall. And they cough it up at center. Here's a stretch pass to Kennedy. And that's intercepted by Byfield. There's the whistle. We've got an offside. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. It's a 2-1 hockey game. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Slammed hard against the wall. That's a 50-yard dash and a 25-yard gym. Oh, and he misfires on that. Moves into the offensive zone. Kamloops has it in the open ice. Quick pass to Matthews. Slides the puck over to Panarin. Makes a move in front. He scores. That's three, Ray. Yeah, just they haven't taken their foot off the gas pedal at all here. Once they got that first one, they kept pushing away. Now they've got three. The goalie's in the right position. He stops the shot, except he doesn't quite get enough of it. And it goes into the net. The Victorious now have extended their lead to two in the second. They've been looking good here so far tonight. I've liked the way they've played. And while the game's a one-goal game, you still have to be pretty careful. Now they've got two. You can open it up a little bit, try and get a third one. Kane's got it against the boards. Jostling for the puck, but still moves away. Takes the feed. Panarin's sure been fun to watch tonight. He's got three points in the game already. And here's a shot. Turns it away. Hammers the shot. Can't get it to go. Victoria's got the puck against the boards. And that's knocked away by Panarin. And just like that comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Kennedy's hauled down. Penalty on the way. Here comes the call. Not much trouble for the official here on that penalty. I mean, the player's feet go flying up in the air. Victoria's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Power play and penalty kill go a long way to determining what your team's going to be like. This is the power play's first chance. We'll see if they can get on the board. Shot! Oh! Taking advantage of the extra man, move the puck well and get on the board. The victorious continue to apply the pressure and the offense continues to roll. This is like a steamroller now. It's like nothing will slow them down. Into the offensive zone. Takes the puck at the point. And they won't connect on that one. Back to the blue line. Denies him with the save. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Kane's leadership is often by example, not so much with some great speech in the locker room. They need action now. They've got to get back in this game, and the captain's going to have to lead them to it. 
takes the bank feed. And no luck on that pass attempt. And we'll reset things after that icing. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. The Victorious have taken control of this one, now leading by three. Goose has won the draw. Well, now they've got them running around. They're a little tired after the icing. Grabs control of it at the point. Denies him. He got all of it. Kamloops takes hold of the puck. Kane's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, I'm loving this, James. This shift is endless. Taken along the wall by Huber. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. And that's offside, stopping the play. Uh, the defenders can regroup right now. That's a long time they've been chasing the puck around in their zone. They look like they've got nothing left in the tank. Here in the late going of the frame, the Victorious are giving their fans a lot to cheer about tonight as they lead it 4-1. Puck picked up by Byfield. Here's a short pass to Kusta. Kane's got it along the wing. Right on the doorstep. And that's picked off in front. Kennedy's got it in the defensive end. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. And he scores! No stop! Hang on a second. The official's waving this one off right away. Well, they're going to get another look at this, James. And what they're looking at is whether this puck bounced off his glove or whether he pushed it into the net. The Victorious are almost making their opponents beg for the end of this second period, Ray. I'll tell you what those two locker rooms are going to be like, James. I've been in both of them. The one that's way ahead, it is a giggle fest. Everyone's having a good time. The other one, you could hear a pin drop from anywhere in that room. I'll take the giggles. Just one! And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. I'm James Sabalski, and we are ready to get this third period going. Well, this has been an absolute blowout through the first two periods as we get underway here in the third. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? Kamloops is going to have to be much more selective where they play the puck. He scores! That give them some hope? Maybe? Kinda? Sorta? They've really given up a ton of goals tonight. And it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. Jake Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Kamloops has been overwhelmed in this one, down by three goals. Here's a shot, and now it's grabbed by Panarin. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Picked up along the wall by Kennedy. And that's turned aside by Merzlikens. Kamloops plays it along the boards. Can't get a hold of that pass. And that's blocked away. Victoria's got a hold of the puck now. Gains the zone through center. Here he is, wrists it on net. Just off target. So much work goes into creating a scoring chance these days. It's so hard to get good ones. And then they miss the net. They, that's a frustrating scene of events for them. Aaron pass and they can't connect. The Victorious have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Slides the puck over. Kennedy's got one. He scores! His hat trick on the night. 
Uh, what a great night for him. He's had some chances. He's capitalized three times now, and on the road, it feels really good. He got a great first touch on that puck to settle it down, and that magnetic superstar ability is what helped him score on that goal, guys. It all comes back to those soft mitts. Can't get it to go. Feeds the puck to Kennedy. Pokes it away in his own end. Kamloops moves it ahead. There's the whistle icing the call. The centerman glide into position. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And a strong effort on that play. Merzlikens makes a crisp save there. He knows he needs to be better than he's been for most of the night. He's had a bad save percentage, and his team trails big in the game. Kamloops skins a hold of the puck against the boards. All oh, the officials saw that trip, and the hand is up. Gaining steam here on the attack. Gotcha. Rocks him on the play. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Let's see the call here. Panarin's getting called for tripping. And the man advantage unit comes out to go to work. The power play guys are pumped here. They haven't had any chances tonight. Here's the first. Stick save, and I think that went off the shaft of his stick there. I can dig it. And they get that puck down the ice. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Steps inside the line. Grabbed along the board by Byfield. Hangs onto the puck. The Blazers have it in the offensive zone. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Kamloops plays it against the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Kane. How did he stop that one? Yeah, he makes a nice save here with the glove, as you mentioned. But he's able to hang on to it. That's a tough save from this position on the ice. Gustav's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. The Victorious get a hold of the puck in their own end. Trying to clear the zone. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Kamloops has it near the wall. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Oh, need to call your parents? That one. Yeah, and it was that guy who's picking himself and his stick up off the ice. Couldn't complete the play. Picked up along the boards by Matthews. The victorious take it across the blue line. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Merzlikens. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. With the stop. Victorious in transition. Byfield's lugging the puck. Moves it quickly over to Gustav. Victorious got control of it now from their own end. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. With possession along the wall. Excellent stick work on the play. The Victorious have it in the offensive end. Looks to set up at the point now. Quick feed to Kane. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Moves it to Kane. And that's deflected. Nice poke check. Final minute of regulation here, and it should be it. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. The victorious win possession here in the open ice. And he regains control of the puck. Gustav's going to play it against the half wall. Tosses it to Bolness. And now he passes up to Panarin. Taken along the wall by Kennedy. Takes a hit, but still hangs on to the puck. Kamloops with possession in their own zone. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Nothing doing. 
Kamloops hasn't found a way to capitalize on their multitude of chances all night. Late in the third period, they're in a tough spot. Quick feed down low. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Loose puck and they're off to the races. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. And we are all over with this one tonight. Well, they'll look at it and say, hey, we controlled play at certain points. We had a better face-off percentage, but just not enough.